Hello friends, I am heading out. I'm actually running like one minute late, so I gotta get going so I can be on time. This is what I'm wearing today. I wanted to show you guys my dress from H&M, and I'm using this purse right here from Coach. It's this bucket purse that I talked about a few weeks ago. I love it, it's so spacious. I will link my whole outfit down below. Give you guys a little bit of a close up later, but we gotta get going. We are off, you guys. We will be there on time. I thought I was running late. I guess I'm running early now. But we are off to Michelle's, and then we're gonna go to to my hair appointment. So last week I had a hair appointment with Stephanie, but the extensions came in and they were like way lighter than we thought it was gonna be. I got off black, but for some reason it looked really different than what it looked like online. So we are going back today because I need to match my real hair to my extensions. In the like in the video and like in the lighting in my house, everything looks fine. When I'm indoors, it looks fine. But when I'm outside with the sunlight and everything, you definitely can see the brown. So that's what we're doing. I'm also getting a haircut with Anthony. I'm getting some framing layers in the front and I'm really, really excited for those. I've been wanting layers for a little bit now. I got layers last year and I really liked it, but this time I'm just gonna do layers in the front and not so much all around just because I don't have that much hair. And I feel like when I do layers all around, it just makes me look like I don't have a lot of hair. So that is what we are doing today. And then tonight we're going to Korean barbecue and I'm so excited. It's my favorite Korean barbecue spot in the whole entire world. It's so, so good. Good, but it's so hard to get in so I don't even know we're gonna be able to get into the Korean barbecue spot today I'm hoping we are able to how much can I take off of it? do you want to keep it as long as possible um not really I think it's too long right now huh yeah but I you know, don't I think, yeah. I think you should at least take off this tail back here Kim like why don't you put it to the front and see where it lays so that you have I want bouncy hair with me. Cool. Thank you. You look so funny. You can't move. Because you're so small too. <laughs> oh my god, it's so big. Whoa. Wow. Look at that. I gotta fix this a little bit. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, you guys. Oh, it's so hard to see because Michelle's card's black and I'm in black. Anthony oh. did such a good job, you guys. Oh my goodness. This cut is beautiful. I'll leave Stephanie's information down below and then Anthony's too. Ah! Hopefully it's not too dark and you can see it. Oh, we're here. We're kind of nervous. We don't know if we'll make it, but this is the Korean barbecue spot. We're on Garden Grove. It's called Morenguk. Right here, you guys. Best Korean barbecue. The only downfall is it's not all you can eat. You pay per plate, but the meat quality is so, so good. There is parking, Whoa. Mom. Oh, that's what she meant by outside parking. Yeah, you can sit outside if you want. Oh, also, this is the parking situation. Very limited, friends. They opened another side over Oh, there. they did? Oh, so, yeah, look out for that. It said Morangong parking. Okay, so if, it, if you don't have parking here, go across the street then. Yeah. And if this doesn't work out, go across the street, eat a BCD. They, may, they have good Korean food, too. <laughs> it's not Korean barbecue though. Oh my god, I'm so excited. I actually think we'll get in today. I think so. I think Michelle and I have been trying to get into this place for like three or four years now. <laughs> We only have, we've only been here once or twice, but every time we crave it, the line is so, so long, you guys. So don't, I honestly don't even try on the weekends. The it's, last time we were here was during COVID and they didn't have the meat that we wanted. So we left. So we left. <laughs> we left, I remembered. Yeah, you guys don't even try on the weekends. If you're gonna go on the weekends, you better come here before three o'clock. Yeah, Cause not you're, even. Cause you're not gonna get in. No. It's so busy, but I think we'll be able to get in today so we can show you guys all of the good quality meat. And they have cold noodles, which are my favorite favorites. All right, you guys, we got in. We're quite happy about it. Definitely going what, like a Tuesday, Wednesday? Yeah. They're closed on Mondays. Tuesday, Wednesday. I think even Thursday, but definitely, definitely before like five. Yeah, this is their menu here. So they have a combination that you guys can choose. Mm -hmm. So we're trying to pick what we want to eat right now. Or there's this too. But you really want pork belly. I love pork belly. That's my favorite probably. Yeah. And then soybean paste stew is my favorite. We decided we're going to go with the combination A which has brisket, pork belly, soybean paste, egg, and then Michelle and I are gonna get two cold noodles, which are our favorite, and then we'll go from there. These are all the sides that you get that come with the meal, and you eat it, you eat it with your meat, and it's a lot of sides, like a lot. And it's so clean here, mom, so clean. It's been so long, and it doesn't smell like Korean barbecue, but we have all these sides, like kimchi, um, <laughs> 
soybeans. Fries, I'm so hungry. We have cucumbers. We have, is that kimchi pancake? Oh, yeah, it's just veggie pancake. Oh, veggie pancake. Yeah. We have, is it squid? This is squid. And then potato salad. We have lettuce. We're just waiting for our meat. Oh my goodness, friends, the brisket, once it got on the grill, just melts. <laughs> wow. I need you guys to understand how thin this meat is. Mom, do you mind lifting up a piece of meat so we can show our beautiful friends in the world how thinly sliced, you guys, mm -hmm. like that is my patience right now. Because <laughs> I'm so hungry. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. I think Michelle's pissed because the food is so good. Best Korean barbecue spot ever. Are you okay? In the meantime, I got soybean soup, which is my favorite soup to eat with. We're just waiting for our cold noodles and the whole thing will be ready. Oh my goodness. That's so thin. What in the world? How good is it? It's so freaking good. That's a brisket? Mm -hmm. Wow. Oh my god. That is their brisket. Mmm. Oh my goodness. Oh, thank you. The cold noodles just came out. This is a small size. Oh my goodness, you guys, you have to see this. It's my, it's like one of my favorite things to eat with Korean barbecue. And it's cold, so don't blow on it. <laughs> Look at these noodles, you guys. It's nice and cold. It pairs very well with pork belly. Oh, my favorite. I have brisket and kimchi in rice paper, so I'm gonna put this in my mouth. Okay. And then I think I'm gonna do a little bit of this, a little bit of that. She always has a plan. <laughs> she always has a plan. Bon appetit. Okay, this is really big. Yeah. Yes, girl. Mm. I was gonna say, I was like, you need more rice than that. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, my favorite soup. And then? <laughs> Was that good? Look this is like the meat. best place ever, Mom. Clem, hi! Do you love your bed? Do you? Yes? 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 Show me your bed. Show me your bed. Show me. Come me. Slept in it all last night. Oh my gosh, no way. Let's see how cute this thing really is. What did you buy, Mom? I bought a bag to take to Vegas. You did? I just wanted to see how it looked. This is all I brought to your house. <laughs> I'm trying to show you guys my hair, but my curls kind of lost the the curlness. Curlness? <laughs> curlness. I don't know. It's hard to show you guys my hair when my hair is black and I'm also in black. Anthony did a great job with the cut. It's so bouncy and wispy how I like it. Love it. What are you doing? Putting on Sophia Richie's color. <laughs> this is Sophia Richie's wedding lipstick by Chanel, and I wanted Michelle to try it on. Oh, maybe too light for you? No, beautiful on you. I take that back. With a darker lipstick. Oh my god, stunning. Very baby doll. I love it on you. I'm baby doll. <laughs> for a minute, I was like, Mom, that's looking like Turkish delight on your lips. Wow. Don't you love the feel? Pretty color. But isn't it so smooth? Mm-hmm. I don't think I've ever used a Chanel lipstick. I was telling Michelle that you feel so bougie when you take Take it out of your purse. I want the bomb, you know? This is the bomb. Oh! This is the Coco Rouge bomb. Oh, oh, they have one that's like... That's the intense one. This is the one, this is the bomb that you're talking about? Mmm. Or they have another one? Maybe I'm talking no, about the wrong thing. No, there's a bomb that's like, that has no color. It's like chapstick. Oh! That's oh, just to whip out. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, mom, Peels sent, okay, so they sent me, first of all, I was hoping for the avocado eye cream because I've been wanting to try it again. Yeah. Because you know how we've been trying eye yeah. creams, but they did not. But this is the Kiehl's SPF or something, which I'm allergic. Cool. I'm a little light. And, and it, she, they sent it in this bag. Oh. And then this is the Kiehl's Dark Spot Solution. Okay. I don't know if Oma has dark spots. Does she? A few. Because my mom has more. I can give it to my mom. Give it to your mom. But I don't know how to explain to my mom about the retinol thing. 
Like I don't want her to use the wrong products. This is clearly corrective dark spot solution. I don't think it has retin. It's not like a it retinol. It doesn't say, if it doesn't say, then you should be fine. Okay, and then this is a powerful strength line reducing concentrate. Okay. And then this is a retinol skin renewing daily micro dose serum. Okay. And then this is a bag that it came okay. with. I'll give this to my mom then. My mom's all about getting rid of her dark spots. Michelle and I washed our makeup off. We have our skincare on. And guess what I got us? It's coming. Coming, it's coming. <laughs> it's on its way. Just got delivered. Guess what? The bean coffee. We got the bean coffee tonight. We're gonna be up all night long. Oh, yeah, but true. it's so good, you guys. I talked about it in a previous vlog. I saw it on TikTok and then I found out that my nephew is obsessed with this place. It's called Davine Coffee and I think it's in Westminster. I'll link the address down below. But get this one. I'll put the name of this drink down below. It's so good. No. <laughs> Hell no. Okay, so it's an inside joke between Michelle, Carlos, and I that I always find Okay, you guys know you guys know how like you're on TikTok, right? And like these things like come up. Like it literally is like part one, two, three of like a movie or TV show, and they look good. And I always recommend it to them, but it always turns out so bad. So it has become an inside joke now that I literally recommend the worst movie. Oh, like Carlos refuses to watch them. I think I think when you guys are alone, he has a heart for you where he's like, fine. <laughs> but when we're all together, he like refuses to His watch it. His first question is like, did is you it find time? it? Did you find yeah. it? Did you find it on TikTok? That's the first strike. Second strike <laughs> is it lifetime. And mom, it literally says it right there. What? The hand that rocks the cream. No, mom. I want to watch it. It already you. screams no. I want to watch this. It screams lifetime. It is. Oh my god. <laughs> That, okay, so so far we have Trust. Oh God. And the hand that rocks the cradle. Okay, what other movies did I favorite? Let's see. I got that crib yesterday. That's a 2023 movie. Mom, there's a 1992 one and a 2023 one. What are you doing? I'm scared. Oh, this is going down. That's her second one, by the way. You guys didn't see the first one. Oh, don't push me into the coffee. Ready? Ah, I'm so scared. <laughs> you know I'm like at least twice your size. <laughs> Just do it. <laughs> Mom, I'm gonna. <laughs> Mom, your tiny little hands hurt. Okay. Ow. They're like Cooper's paws. You know how they're so it's tiny. My time. It's so mighty. <laughs> do it. I got you. But like you didn't yeah. push me. You like hurt. Cause you move. I stay still. That's Why do it. your hands hurt so much? Is it bruised already? Ow! Is it? Does it hurt? Ow! Yeah! <laughs> I hate something! Does it hurt? Does it hurt? Stop! Hey, do you have any bruises? <laughs> no! Check up on I had one right here. Where? It Why? went away. <laughs> I have to brush on it. She said, Tia, what are you doing, Tia? Oh my gosh! She said, let me kiss you! Oh my gosh, you guys. Oma brought us food. Huh? Look, Mom, what is it? This is chokbar. <laughs> it's my new favorite egg open show. <laughs> this is chokbar, <laughs> which is pork. Feet, pork, leg. Also, Michelle gave in and we're watching the Lifetime movie and it ain't bad. The acting could use a little bit of help. A little bit much of help? <laughs> bon appetit, mom. Bon Oma appetit. made this today, mom? Yeah. Wow. No, not without him. It's cold. She, it tastes better when it's cold. So she chilled it. That's why she made us wait. Mm. I love the outside, so chewy. This movie sucks. Good morning, my loves. Oh my goodness. I got so emotional this morning. I woke up, brushed my hair, and you guys, look at how amazing my hair looks. I can't tell you the last time that my hair has had this much movement before. Like, this is exactly what I wanted. I wanted the bounce. I wanted the movement. Oh my goodness. Anthony did such a good job yesterday cutting the layers because I feel like for a while my hair was just like one length and it was so flat. But this is so bouncy and pretty. I wish you guys could see it in person. It is so, so pretty. You guys should definitely book a haircut with Anthony. It's amazing. And then Stephanie did such a great job on my extensions. It's so hard to cut 
tape in extensions so she did such a good job like put them in, putting them in the right places and then she also glossed me all over oh my god they're literally the dream team like i'm i don't know if you guys can see oh my gosh and then all of the volume up here Oh, it's so pretty. I love it. Michelle and I are on this high kick for spaghetti from California Pizza Kitchen. So I got bolognese with chicken and bacon and mushrooms. Oh my gosh, you guys. They make really, really good spaghetti there. You guys should definitely check them out. Friends, we're doing it again. The best coffee ever, Davine Coffee. I will write down what I order in the description. Please go to them. Like this will wake you up in the morning. It's so good. Hello, it is Saturday, you guys. I, wait, no, it's not. Is it? <laughs> I think, okay, it's Saturday. It is Saturday, yesterday was Friday. Yesterday, I didn't pick up the camera at all because we were moving a few things around. We were doing a little bit of, it's almost summer cleaning. I really wanted to do my, you know, I do this every, like every few months. I, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I literally go through and detox and declutter everything in the house. Cause sometimes I feel like we just have so much of like little things and if we don't use them I want to donate them that's what we did yesterday also yesterday I had like a lifetime movie marathon with Michelle and Carlos and it was so much fun and what else happened oh yesterday we were going to mount this new arch mirror that I bought from Wayfair Way Wayfair has this thing every year it's called way day I think and everything is like super discounted so I got this mirror for like 50% off it's a huge arch mirror I wanted to put it in our our primary bedroom. Guess what you guys, we we're gonna mount it yesterday and it came completely shattered and broken. So I had to quickly tell Wayfair and they sent me another one, but that's not coming for like two more weeks. So I was a little bummed about that. I grabbed a matcha. I feel like I really need it today. Plus I haven't had it in a little bit. Oh my God, they made it so good. My favorite barista was at Starbucks today. He is literally amazing. He makes me so happy. Such, such a nice person. Okay, I'm gonna head to that way because I gotta go to the bank. The bank closed today. I wanted to walk in. Oh my God, there's no traffic, thank God. I can leave. I was gonna go to the bank, but the bank on Saturdays, I was not aware that they closed so early. I think they closed at like one or two today, maybe even 12. I don't know. I just have to use the ATM. I wanted to get some like $100 dollar bills for something and then what else oh and then i have to go to the grocery store because i have to grab a few things i think we're gonna make dinner at home tonight we've been cooking at home a lot food just tastes better and it's so much fun to just make it at home bond with your significant other know exactly what's going inside your meals and also food is so expensive right now as you guys know actually everything is so expensive right now in the world so eating out has become expensive so i like to cook at home and you guys know i just love cooking anyways i'm at sephora at kohl's hoping to find some Thing for Mother's Day gifts. I got this drink at the Asian store for Carlos to try. What does it look like, baby? Mm, strawberry Ramu bottle. It's Japanese. Is it good? Oh, wait, you haven't tried it. Yet. <laughs> oh, hopefully it doesn't explode, right? No. We're good? Okay. I think it's good. I wonder if it's like the ones where you throw the ball inside and it gets all carb carbonated. Yeah, I think so. Mm, that's really good. You like it? Yeah, it's like a carbonated strawberry soda. I think it's the one where you pop the ball in, but they just changed the packaging. The bottle's really pretty. It's actually really good. It tastes like NyQuil. Oh, okay. <laughs> I like it. That's I think good. it's good. It just tastes like NyQuil. <laughs> the chicken looks so good. Look at the chicken, babe. Yeah, I saw it. Can I have that wing? Yeah, go for it. Ha <laughs> It's my pipe. Do you want this leg? I only like the wing. Oh, this drum looks fire though, babe. Mmm, baby. Yeah? This chicken's bomb. You're not gonna do like veggies? Yeah, hold on. I'm not done yet, baby. <laughs> I love it! I know, but you were struggling so hard. Because <laughs> <laughs> I didn't really get it, but I get it now. I'm opening my sardine can. Look, babe. Nice. That's awesome. I'll link it down below. It's like the best thing that I've ever gotten for the kitchen. That looks kind of good. You don't like sardines. I don't like fish, I know. But I know, I know. Sometimes I see the fish tacos. Yeah. And the battered ones, you know what I'm talking about, right? Yes. I, sometimes I see them and I'm like, man, they look so good, but I, I know I'm not gonna like it because it's fish. What if your taste buds have changed? No, I doubt it. Not for fish. <laughs> Thanks, babe. Love ya. Love you too. Oh my god, these are big today. Rice is done. Chicken bouillon.
I'm eating sardines again. These are my sardines. Oh my god, they look so good, you guys. This meal is my favorite. Grew up eating it. It's just so good, so affordable, so easy and quick. I have my jasmine white rice and then I eat it with a bunch of vegetables. So we have water spinach, we have romaine lettuce at the bottom and cucumbers and then cilantro. I'm so excited. I love eating this because well, it's just so easy and then all the veggies. I love eating veggies. As you guys know, I eat a lot of greens. And the garlic, you guys. Ooh. Mmm. I love getting cucumber and scooping the garlic. Okay. I also love water spinach, cilantro, and scooping the garlic. Mmm. Combine all this. Ready? Let's do this together. The garlic is so sweet and so good. I scoop it onto the meat. Mm. I love vegetables. You can easily get some romaine lettuce scoop. You can even put some of the sardines in there. It's my favorite meal in the world. Are you gonna cry your first Mother's Day? Probably. <laughs> <laughs> I cry over everything. <laughs> I'm wrapping Madre's Christmas present. What am I saying? Madre's Mother's, Mother's Day, Day present. Day. So my mother-in-law, Carlos's mom, loves elephants. Like she's like literally obsessed with them. So I found this card on Amazon. I'll link it down below for you guys if you wanna get this card for anybody. It's really cool because this is the front. So it has a cute little elephant. I thought this elephant was absolutely adorable. And then when you open it up, it's a 3D elephant. That's pretty cool. She's gonna be so surprised when she opens this up. <laughs> Look, isn't that cute? Yeah. If you guys go on Amazon and you type in pop-up cards, they have so many different pop-up cards and I think they're just like a cute little extra oomph when people open up their cards. Like they have ones where like when you open it up, it's like a whole bouquet of flowers. Some people would call it cheesy, but I think it's really cute. Oh. I guess you can write a card in here and then slip it in. Very yeah, cool. Yeah, because they don't want you to like... They don't want you to ruin the card, huh? I think so. So that's the card. I wanted to show you guys what we got for Mother's Day as gifts. So I was at Sephora and I saw these and I wanted to share it with you guys. Because they don't just have to be like Mother's Day presents. You can also buy this for friends and family for like birthdays or anytime you really need gifts. I also asked Sephora to give me one of these bags because I thought it'd be cute to... First of all, I don't have to go buy one. And second of all, I think the Sephora bag is fairly cute. And then I also have white tissue paper to put at the top, which will really tie in the gift. But the first thing I saw when I was at Sephora were these boxes. So I think perfumes are a pretty good present, honestly, for any occasion for pretty much anybody. Like who doesn't love perfumes, right? So I know that for Mother's Day, I think it's just it's gonna be such a good present But anyways, I wanted to show this to you guys. These are perfume packages that I found at Sephora They're both Gucci and I was smelling them in the store and it is so good This one is the Gucci Flora Gorgeous Jasmine. I was considering buying myself some too, but I think I'll get like the sample mini size before I commit to the full size. But it comes with the one ounce, I think. Yes, it comes with the one ounce perfume bottle and then also a fairly big point .33 fluid ounce travel size perfume, which is amazing. And then this is the Gucci Bloom, which is the same situation. We have the one, one ounce and then also the travel. And I love that it's already packaged really nicely so I can just easily wrap it. And then I also got the Libre Saint Laurent perfume. I got the one ounce. This one's really, really good. I actually might, I'm considering getting myself this to add into the perfume collection. As you guys know, I've been like really into perfumes. And then this is the Marc Jacobs Daisy ever so fresh. I'm definitely gonna get myself this this one was so fresh and so clean It wasn't sweet at all. It honestly tastes like really expensive laundry And then I can't remember what this one smelled like it was fresh and not too sweet I really actually really like this. I feel like a lot of people talk about this one So those were the presents and they were good finds. So I'm gonna wrap this up and then make it all pretty Is it cute? <laughs> I don't know. I feel like the sides are... That's better. I feel like it was like too long and it looked like super weird. Mm. Oh my God, excuse you. That was Riley. 
Are you okay, Bubba? Georgie, Riley, are you okay? Was that a burp? Cute. Not bad. Oh, that would have been cuter if this was facing up. There we go. It's all about the details. Cause like when people open up presents, this is their first impression, you know? Even if you suck at wrapping presents like I do, I'm horrible at wrapping presents. One, it's the thought that count. And two, first impressions are everything. Not just in presents, but also in real life. This is cute. Originally I was gonna use black wrapping paper, but I can't find my black wrapping paper roll, so it's kind of sad. But had I known I was gonna do this beige brown color, I would have done a white bow instead. I don't think they'll hate it. It doesn't look bad, right, you guys? I, I wish I had a white bow. That would have been way prettier, but it's okay. Well, you guys, I wanted to show you this room because I'm cleaning it right now. This is what the Be Happy The Label Room used to be, I guess. The tables are still here, if you guys remember. Those are our shipping tables when we had the business, and then we had shelving all around for all the inventory. And all the shelving now are here. We're actually going to move all of the shelving to the garage, so I'm really, really grateful that we have a place for them still. I didn't want to get rid of them. I could donate them as well in case another small business needs them for their business, but just wanted to show you guys the chaos in our home right now and show you guys the current situation. This looks so different than it did a few months ago. I'm actually keeping these husky packing tables. They're actually garage tables that you use to like build stuff. They're like handyman garage tables. They're really good quality. So I'm actually going to keep them until the day I die because I love them so much. They're really good. I'm sitting in the walk-in closet right now. As you guys can see, those were the tables we just talked about. I have been asked a few times over the last few months about what's going on with Be Happy The Label. Haven't heard anything. When is the next launch? Are you restocking Mental Health Matters? Are you restocking Practice What You Preach? What is the situation? I was really dreading talking about it just because I get so emotional over it and like, I just feel like I failed. And I feel like I've been like, I feel like I've been like bubbling, bubbling. I feel like I've been like keeping all of it inside and like I haven't really gotten a chance to talk about it. And like even with like Carlos and Michelle, I just kind of put on this face and I'm like, oh, you know, sometimes you try things in life and they just don't work out, whether it's business related. Maybe you went to college and it just didn't work out and you know, your life rerouted other places. Or maybe you worked at a brand new job and it didn't work out. You can get into friendships, relationships, and sometimes it doesn't work out the way that you want it to. Carlos and I launched Be Happy The Label back in November and it was amazing. It was such a journey because I was really excited about about it. The idea of being a small business owner was exciting. I still one day want to be able to do it. I think that after having Be Happy The Label, I learned so many things. We worked with such amazing people. We became friends with a lot of other small business owners and we were able to learn from one another. And it was just an amazing journey. Like through that journey, we met so many amazing people. I learned so much. And like looking back, I was, I'm so proud of myself because I remember like, I remember being so scared to launch this business and like so scared to use Shopify. You know how like a lot of people are really interested in starting YouTube and like once you start a YouTube account, it is just so hard to navigate and figure out how do I upload videos? Like what are all the legal stuff that goes on with YouTube? How do taxes work? How do you edit this? How do you fast forward? And so when it came to Be Happy The Label, I was so excited about it because it was something I want, I've been wanting to do for a while and then it was also something that Carlos has been wanting to do for a while and looking back now, like we're so grateful we gave it a chance. Ultimately we decided that we were not gonna move forward be happy the label it was really expensive we didn't have the funds for it we really didn't profit that much even though we sold out both launches actually three launches the first and then the second one we donated pretty much a hundred percent to charity and then the third one was practice what you preach and that was something that was really important to me I didn't want to have a company that surrounded itself around mental health matters or just mental health in general or positive affirmations or whatever it may be and not donate. I always told myself and told Carlos I will not have a small business that does not donate 
at least 10% to charity. And that was something that I loved about Be Happy The Label. As you guys know, we changed up the charity every single launch. So one launch we would donate to St. Jude's, the other launch we would donate to Feeding America. It was really important that we were able to use my platform, sell amazing products, but also be able to give back. Those were really, really important to me. And so getting into the business part, it was so much fun. Was it hard work? Yes. As you guys saw, we would stay up until like five in the morning packing. On top of that, I'm still doing social media. I'm still doing YouTube. I still have the full time business because what I do online is a full on LLC, full on business. And so we were juggling everything and we loved it. Not one moment did Carlos and I ever looked at each other and go, this isn't it. But when we got down to the statistics and the numbers of it, it was just a lot of money. We didn't have the resources that we needed. It was a big volume of people. I didn't know wh what we could do to possibly grow in this situation. I felt like it was still very young and very new, but a lot of money was already going out the door. Obviously things are very expensive to make and I don't wanna be in that situation where I'm charging if it costs me, you know, 25, 30, 35 dollars to make a shirt. I don't wanna charge people 75, 80, 80, $85. Did I think that practice what you preach? If you guys bought that, you know that crew neck was like the best quality we've ever felt. And even charging that price point killed me. I just, I, it was, it was a very, I'm all over the place, but it was a very big fight between so many different things going on in my head. It was just a lot. And the last time that I felt this way was when I worked at Urban Decay for two weeks and then I quit. And I remember quitting Urban Decay right after graduating college. I graduated May, 2018. I started working at Urban Decay in July of 2018. Within two weeks, I quit. I just couldn't do it. And I remember like feeling such a fail, feeling like the biggest failure in life but something inside told, told me that this was going to reroute me into a different situation and that's when the next month I started my mukbang channel which obviously as you guys know has been such an amazing journey and I've seen so much success with my mukbang channel and I love 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 the fact that it has introduced me to this world of food and cooking and I've been able to not only grow the channel but grow with it as a human being and so I'm hoping that whatever I'm feeling right now is just rerouting me for where I'm supposed to be in the end or maybe not even in the end but where I'm supposed to be in the next chapter of my life I've been dreading talking about it because I feel like a loser <laughs> I feel like I failed I was like so hyped for it and we talked about it for weeks and weeks and months and months and then you guys were so excited for it and I can't express to you how thankful we are for you guys selling out everything and for all of our subscribers who are also small business owners who were there for us and like helped us on so many things you know the owner of daily dainty she stayed up with me the day before launch she should she stayed up with me until like one in the morning just making sure that we had everything under control and i was you know confident to ship the next day when we launched you know we had so many people on our side and i can't Thank you, you guys, enough for supporting my small business that lasted for a few months. I'm, I'm so very proud of it. I will stand behind it 100%. I love that we were able to give back and donate so much money to charities that are very important. I don't think my goals and dreams were too big. I don't think your goals and dreams can ever be too big. I always thrive to dream bigger, but it just sucks because I just, I really thought it would last for, you know, a long time. And I remember really wanting it and then when I actually was in the moment and doing it, I loved what I was doing, but I felt like maybe clothing wasn't for me. I don't know. I just felt like I was going through a lot of things. The last time I felt like this was, like I said, urban decay, but it was also like when I was in college trying to choose my major. Like you kind of know what you want, but at the same time you're like scared and you're confused and you're like listening to everyone around you, but you're trying to listen to what your heart wants, but it just doesn't make sense and you're just, you feel so lost. And so I'm letting life and the universe kind of just take me right now and just show me what it is and I will continue working hard on the current business that I have which is content creating and I you know when I have these moments where I feel like I'm failing in life I remember back to 20 14, December of 2014 when I uploaded my first YouTube video and I didn't even know how to fast forward a makeup tutorial. I remember when a company asked me for an invoice and I didn't even know what an invoice was. <laughs> I remember my first year after 2015, I 
didn't even know how to do my taxes. I didn't know what deductions were. So I go back to that Kim, like the version of myself when I was 21. And I try to remind myself that we all start somewhere. And sometimes, you know, you try things in life and it doesn't work out. It is redirecting you towards another direction that you need to, to go towards. This is just a detour and, you know, it just sucks because majority of my life is on the internet and people like to celebrate your failure. Not everyone, but there's, there's so much love. You know, if you guys read my comments, then you know that our family online is amazing. You guys are so positive and I'm so grateful to have you guys. But where there is love, there is still hate. And people that hate you love to celebrate, I mean, not even just online, even friends and family in your life. They love to celebrate your failures and it makes them happy and it's a thing that I will never understand, but I was kind of just really scared to share this and just confirm it because, I don't know, I feel like I let you guys down, I feel like I let myself down, but then there are days I wake up and I'm very proud that I gave it a try and if this doesn't work out, then moving on to the next one, you know? I'm gonna one day figure out another thing I wanna try and maybe I'm gonna get a million no's before something else works. Maybe I'm gonna fail at six more businesses that I share with you guys before one really works out for me. So, no regrets in life. Now I can sleep and not wonder what if. It's just the end of the chapter. It was just time to say goodbye and eventually you guys were gonna see this room and be like, uh, what happened to your business? you had you know but I do really still enjoy creating clothing and stuff so I might pair up with another third company like I did before this and make some cool crew necks if you guys want to support me there I'll let you guys know if I find a cool company that can do some cool crew necks and you know That'll be fun. I'm very proud of myself throughout this journey. You guys, I mean, I learned how to pack. I didn't know how to ship. I learned how to use Shopify. It, it was just so amazing. And so thank you to you guys for supporting me. Thank you to everyone who reposted, who commented, who supported me, whether you bought or didn't buy. Thank you so much for helping me donate to charities that mean so much. Thank you for the words of encouragement. Thank you to all the small business owners out there that reached out and helped us and for Anyone that wants to try something new, chase a dream, or start a small business themselves, or start YouTube, whatever it may be, don't be scared. If you fail, you fail. You will get right back up and you will figure out, you know, your first business is not going to take off. There are gonna be so many no's before you get to that aha yes moment. And I hope that nothing ever discourages your dreams and I hope that you continue to dream much bigger and better and just know that it's okay, you know, to fail. I feel like I'm saying this so like I'm reminded too. You know, we're human and not, there is no one in this world that is completely 100% perfect. Even the most successful companies, you know, once started somewhere, even the most successful, famous, people in the world, whoever they may be, you know, you see where they are now, but you don't see all of the that they went through in order to get there. And that's just, you know, that's just how life is. And so I just wanted to keep you guys in the loop. I love you guys. Thank you so much for just being there for me. I'll let you guys know when I wanna start another small business and see where that goes. I have a lot of things I wanna do in my life, but I just don't know. Sometimes I'm a little bit scared, but I think that you, you know, I'm in a much better situation where now I don't have to wonder what if anymore. Anyways, I love you guys. I will see you in the next one. Bye.